And we're back here on AUPanthers.tv following a tough loss for the Adelphi men's basketball team, 74-72 to Merrimack. And the final seconds joined now by assistant coach Sean Lawless. And coach, I want to start with that final sequence. You're down by three points, trying to get a stop defensively after um, Merrimack calls a timeout, and then Dwayne Morgan comes up with a huge steal, gets fouled, misses one of the two free throws, but you get the ball back because it was an intentional foul. Just take me through that final sequence, how it played out on the bench. Yeah, it's a, it's a real roller coaster ride where, uh, you know, we're not sure what's going to happen on the defensive end, and, you know, we got lucky enough where they fouled us and, and gave us an opportunity to, you know, uh, tie or win the game there at the end. Uh, not a lot more you can ask for there. And you drop a play there, and Anthony Labroya drives baseline, got cut off, found Di Nicola for the shot. Mm -hmm. You guys happy with the way that last sequence turned out? Yeah, you know, we, we knew they were switching all screens. Um, and we like Anthony coming off ball screens and uh, let them try to contain him. And he got into the lane, he found an open guy, and, you know, they just got out and closed out well. well you so. guys started off really hot in this game, had a 17-point lead in the first half, and then a 5-point lead at halftime, build it out to 10 early in the second half, and then Merrimack was able to come back and take the lead. What changed for your team in terms of that hot shooting from the first half, why it didn't carry over to the second? We were 8 for 14 from 3 in the first half, and, you know, that, that's great, and it's just... You know, it's tough to keep shooting 57% from three. Right. you, you got to be realistic. And we shot 37% in the uh, second half here. So it's not like we shot poorly in the second half from three. Um, we, we were three for 15 from two, which is really what hurt us in the second half. Um, but I thought we got good looks the whole game. And, uh, you know, we, we did a pretty good job offensively. So, uh, you know, a lot of good things to take away offensively. Yeah, I was just going to mention that because you have a lot of different guys that contribute four different players and double figures. Dwayne Morgan had a nice game. Damon Coleman exploding, hitting five three-pointers in this mm -hmm. one, really uh, showing a different element to his game that we don't always see. Yep. What kind of positives can you take, even though it's a, a tough loss in the end? Yeah, Dwayne did a great job uh, at the high post, making uh, hard drives to the basket, finding open shooters on the perimeter. And then um, and that's two games in a row now where Damon shot the ball well from three, so that's, that's an added bonus. Uh, for us going forward, uh, something we can look forward to for the rest of the year. And how tough is it that you are consistently in games like this? You've had leads at halftime a lot of times during this uh, long losing streak, and you've been able to build leads in the second half and just haven't been able to come out with wins in close games, this one being a two-point game, a number of one, two-possession games down the stretch yeah. here over the past couple of weeks. I, you know, it's great that our guys come and play hard every game and uh, and compete, and, um, you know, there's not a lot more you can ask for than that. Um, so, you know, it's tough. We, we would have liked to pull uh, this one out. We would have liked to pull a couple more out. But overall, you got to be happy with the effort that was uh, was out there today. And finally, Franklin Pierce on Tuesday. How do you carry over the effort and hopefully turn it into a win? Yeah, well, we like when we play at home, so we're excited to be here uh, in front of the home crowd. And uh, hopefully we bring the same effort. And uh, I think we'll be all right if we do. All right, well, Coach, thanks for the time. Once again, assistant coach Sean Lawless following a 74-72 loss. To Merrimack, the Panthers fall to 4-13 and overall, or 4-14, and check that, in 1-11 and in the Northeast 10. For Jim Pittman, I'm Kevin Dexter. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you tune in Tuesday when the Panthers host Franklin Pierce right here on aupanthers.tv. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening.